Dress up. Dress what? up, why yeah. not? Go yellow or red. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Big slow motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Deadpool and Wolverine is one of the biggest movies of the summer. And so do you have any advice for theater goers on how to maximize their fun? Gosh. Dress up. Dress what? up, why yeah. not? Go yellow or red. Yeah. Maybe, g given that it's like a story about unlikely friends, maybe go for unlikely snack combinations. Or take somebody you didn't know as a friend, or like who, you know. You don't like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> go with someone you're not friends with, and then you'll become friends through the experience. And then buddy up together. Take on it. Oh, nicked it. Just got the tip with your little steak knife. When you go to the movies, do you need a friend to come with you, or are you comfortable, you know, going to uh, see movies alone? I've actually never been to the cinema alone. Have you? No, and I, I think I need to start doing that. I think uh, I'm past the point. I, I really like going on my own. I haven't been for a while, I have to say. But when I do, I quite like. I like it. If I'm away working, then I, I would like to go and if I have days off, I'd like to go and see a film by myself. I feel like I've done something with the day. Do you have a number one memory of seeing a Marvel movie, specifically, in theaters? I remember exactly where I was when I saw Black Panther, which I thought was incredible. I was yeah. at university. And I remember we were so excited because we were students that we got these tickets that meant we could go to the really nice cinema, and which we could never normally afford, and that they had the really nice seats we could all recline. And we were trying to like maximize the use of those seats. So we were all watching the film like this. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> really like Far this, back. but like glued to the screen. So let's say Mr. Paradox comes to you and tells you your universe is about to be erased. Which of your fellow cast members would you recruit to save it with you? The most powerful one. Ah, oh, correct. <laughs> correct. Correct. Good answer. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. I would I would recruit myself. As well. I'd maybe take the dog for laughs. Uh, what encouragement or advice can you give young creatives who are hoping to push the envelope in the way that you all have done with this movie? I would echo what Sean, Sean Levy sort of suggested, which is really good advice, which is just keep going. Yeah, keep making stuff. The okay. trick, yeah, the trick in the, yeah. I'd say, in our business is just to keep moving forward. Keep moving, mm -hmm. and there's no one way of getting there. Mm -hmm. There's no one way of doing something, even though love, life loves to tell you that there is yeah. like follow this path and you'll get to this thing read this book about how you get there there's not and do it get, in your own way you get better by doing it yeah you know. and i guess this film is you know came into fruition because of three friends so also look to the people around you in your life who create things and collaborate because some really amazing things can be born out of that Deadpool and Wolverine are both big characters with big personalities. And so the first question is just, what was difficult about bringing them together and what came easily? Is it bad to say it all came easily? We were working, Ryan very much wanted to, uh, to uh, play the character again. We very much wanted him to play the character again. We started working years ago on what that could be. And he had so many ideas, many of which are in the final version of the movie. But, but we were missing something. We were missing um, um, that magic something that is the reason to move forward with a project. And we were, I would even say, hours away from having a phone call where we said, okay, let's take our foot off the gas and, and just take more time to think about this. Sometimes that's the best thing you can do for a movie. And in that exact moment, Hugh Jackman called Ryan Reynolds and said, you know, I think I'd like to come back as Wolverine. <laughs> And we had been developing a storyline that involved the Time Variance Authority, that involved crossing through timelines uh, uh, and, and uh, a Deadpool coming into the MCU, and that locked it all into place. And it really, and the love those two have for each other and for their characters made it, uh, particularly under the direction of Sean Levy, made it a very smooth, magical experience, I have to say. So this movie is pretty wild in a lot of ways. Uh, was there a moment when you were on set where you were just like, I can't believe we're doing this? Uh, there were moments on set, as I've been lucky enough to happen in my career many times, where I have to look around and pinch myself that, that you know, this particular group of actors, these particular group of characters are all together under one roof. 
And that's kind of the magic of Marvel and the Marvel team-ups. And we've been doing it for many years that we, that still being able to find myself in a room with a particular group of actors and characters going, I can't believe I'm looking at this. I can't believe we're putting this yeah. on film um, is, is pretty special. What encouragement or advice would you give to young creatives hoping to push the envelope like you've done with this movie? I think Sean's answer was great to that. I mean, for me, it is always about uh, passion. It's always about passion and doing something that you care immensely about and that you would be entertained by and, and fulfilled um, by even the attempt to do something, whether it happened or not. Because a lot of stuff doesn't work out and a lot of stuff doesn't happen. Um, and there are people that chase doing things just to do them and will yeah. go against their instincts or, or sign up to somebody else's vision they don't believe in just because they want to sort of progress in a perceived career motion. Um, but really for me, it's always been uh, go with your gut and, 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 and spend time doing things uh, for a living, you'd probably be doing by yourself anyway. <laughs> Why does Deadpool and Wolverine need to be experienced in theaters? For me, it's that is the best way to experience movies. I, I can watch a movie by myself uh, uh, at home, but it's gotta be a movie I've already seen many, many times. And every time I watch it, I have to emotionally connect to that first time in a theater when I felt it and experienced it with a big group of people. To me, there's nothing um, more important or more special um, than being in a theater with a big screen with as many people as possible experiencing something together for the first time. And there are not yeah. a lot of places left that you can be sit with a bunch of strangers and laugh at the same things or cheer at the same things um, or tear up <laughs> over the same things. And to me, that's what going to the movies is all about. Were there, um, uh, through your Marvel career, any moments where you saw one of the movies with audiences that like particularly stick with you? There, uh, there are a lot, yes. We, we uh, almost every time we have a movie come out, we'll sneak into the theaters and watch some of it play. Um, and just, you know, in, in recent years, sneaking into No Way Home with Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland hiding in the background and seeing them experience that moment when Toby comes out of uh, Ned's portal for the first time. Great, it's just some random guy. Hello. Or certainly Endgame, where uh, all of us uh, who made the movie sat in the middle of the theater in Westwood and experienced that for the first time with an audience. Th those, are, those stick with me. You know, we're Regal Theaters. We love uh, movie snacks. And so if Deadpool and Wolverine were a movie snack combination, what would they be? Well, this, you know, we've spent a lot of time uh, comparing them to ketchup and mustard. And the <laughs> ketchup and mustard doesn't go with a lot of movie snacks, I guess hot dogs. Um, but I'm a Twizzler fan, so that would be the red for, for uh, Deadpool. And popcorn, depending on how much butter you put on it, it's kind of got, got a yellowish hue. So yeah. it would be Twizzlers and popcorn for me. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. And, you know, uh, uh, Logan's a little salty. So makes sense to me. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time and uh, congratulations. Thank on the you. Film. Are you ready? Fuck yeah, I'm ready. I'm the Wolverine. Stop it.